speaker. She has an elegant personality that sparked the inspiration to bolster our national dress in our community. Before she passed away last year, I let her know that the first show of the Terno will be a tribute to her for inspiring me. So, Susie, this is for you. Tonight we have 14 ladies and four gentlemen models spanning four generations, including our cute girls who sang the national anthem, Emma and Rita. I hope each of you have taken the time to read the brief article about the history of our Terno and Baron, which is in the souvenir program. Through the years, the wearing of our traditional formal wear has really diminished, except for the cultural dances, the pageants, and the yearly cultural events like this gala night. In fact, it would be wonderful if everyone is wearing terno and barong tonight. It would be a lovely and patriotic scene. I have asked many Filipinos and Filipinas the simple question, what do we call our national costume? There is usually a blank look and try asking our younger generation the same question. And they just shrug their shoulders or roll their eyes. I have also found out that the majority of Filipinas have never worn our national costume in any style, whether it's kimono or terno. This means the younger generation will have less chances of knowing this part of our culture. The Terno and Barong is a symbol, just like our flag that says, we are Filipinos. It is part of our history, it's part of our heritage, and who we are from the past to the present. Our national costume is something we can be proud of. The Terno and Barong is absolutely one of the world's most distinct and recognizable traditional dresses identified only to the Philippines. It is part of our identity. It is our hope with this presentation to encourage and inspire every Filipino to wear our terno and barong and challenge ourselves to pass on this important part of our history to our children and to, our, and to their children. So here we go. Let's start the show. Rowena Sancho is our first model. She's wearing an early version of the terno called Saya or Pandilin. It has the panuelo top on her shoulders, a Maria Clara kimono top, and the skirt has a train that is usually tucked in the waist to lift the skirt to show what beautiful she is underneath. Rowena is an active volunteer of Kalayan for many years. <laughs> 